Welcome to Destination Central, I'm Monique Guana. This week we've got something very special for you as we're in Tauranga and our six businesses will be showing us the latest in spring fashion and how to take the day look tonight. Let's meet Tracy from Creative Tauranga who is our model for the day. Hi Tracy, thanks for being our model for the day. How are you feeling? Oh, a little bit nervous, a little bit naked to the face. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got nothing to worry about. You will be in very good hands today. Yes, yes, I'm very excited about Bella V Makeup. It'll be a great start to the day. Okay, Tracy, well, let's go meet Mandy from Bella V. Well, we're just going to put some lovely Bella V Pure Mineral on Tracy's face. And how you would apply this is you always use your lid when it comes to mineral makeup. So you'll get your mineral makeup like this and you're not to be scared of it, you say. And you just bounce that back in because you're not going to use a whole lot. Because it's pure mineral, it's got the coverage that you need, you know. You just use a small amount. So then you do it in a circular motion. I like to use it from the nose out to the ear in a circular motion. How does it feel on your skin, Tracy? Oh, it feels fantastic. You don't feel that gluggy, heavy no. feel you can feel sometimes with um, liquid foundations, that sort of thing. Yeah. I'm going to go with the blonde for Tracy today because of her hair colouring. And so, blonde, it's a, actually you can use this as an eyeshadow too. But you use the tiniest amount, you always bring it to your lid, I can't specify that enough. And you will just stroke it on the same area as your eyebrow. You're not here to make a larger eyebrow and stuff, you're just here to enhance the one you've got. It fills in the gaps in a natural way. You've got a very specially shaped brush there, haven't you? Yes, Bellevue has some really awesome brushes. You don't need to have 20 odd brushes, I think we've got about seven to eight, and the Pacific, for Pacific jobs, and this is a hard bristle brush, so it's perfect for the eyebrows. How do you choose the colours? Well, we're here to assist too, but on the website as well, they give you some tips. Um, and where you can purchase the Bella V, they're all trained girls, so they can, they're there to assist you, especially at the beginning, you know, because, you know, you've got to build up your confidence. So you can start to see it coming together mm. now, you know. So I'm going to go in with... Tracy a chocolate pencil okay okay so as I said you can put the chocolate pencil on or black whatever's your preference or it could be you know if you weren't going with browns and golds today mm. you could put the greens and the blues we do have a choice of eyeliners and what I do love about the eyeliners is you can smudge them so easily mm. you don't drag them in the on the eye anymore okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to go from the daytime, you can even have a little soft on this if you wish to. You can go just one shade on with some um, pencil and some mascara, that'd be fine. Or if you want two tone, you can go the base shade of your choice and then a browns or the greens or whatever and then your mascara. Now, I just put on a little extra to show you that you could go from day to night with that little extra if you want to. Now, what I do love with browns and creams and, and that. I love to put a little bit of gold with blue eyes. I mm. just think it makes them pop, you know? So what I'm going to do, because this is a third shade, I'm going to actually place it in the center of the eye. And you could also do this, you know, with some greens. What is some fashion now in terms of lip color? Oh, well, I, the pinky, the pinky tones, the corally tones is mm. quite in now. It's a lot you of pastel clothing. Yes, isn't you it? can. Yeah. You can see it in the clothing. Now, if you want your lip pencil and your lipstick to hold on that a little bit longer, just put a little bit of the setting powder over it. It smells so nice. Oh, it too. does smell. Doesn't nice. it smell yeah. nice? Mm. Yeah. It smells like Christmas smell. Oh, it's cinnamony. It mm. is cinnamony. And this is the plumper we have, the Bella V plumper as well. So you've got clear lip gloss and you've got the plump. So I'll make your lips a little bit plumper. Yeah. And the finishing touch, if you wanted, you could put that little bit more bronzer or blusher on you just to lift the face before you went out that night. But actually I found doing lots of occasions with weddings and in fashion shows and stuff, 
that smell of these stays on all day. You don't need to take it off and reapply your whole makeup for that night. Just mm. add that little extra touches and it'll definitely bring you from day to night. And Tracy, you're all done. Thank you very much. You're so welcome. <laughs> Tracy, you look fantastic. Mandy has truly made you into a work of art. Now that we've set the foundations, we are off to see Rodney Wayne in Bethlehem. Today we're doing a day look. I was just going to do some nice romantic soft beachy curls. They're quite in at the moment. And then for the night look, we're going to do sort of incorporate from the day look into the night, doing a nice loose bun. And how long have you been doing this for? Um, I've been hairdressing for nearly six and a half years. And at Rodney Wayne you've got someone to choose the colour and then to apply, is that correct? We um, have stylists that choose the colours and we have a technician, um, Colour Techs, and they help the stylists do the, apply the colours and yeah, they really help us out a lot. If it wasn't for them here at Rodney Wayne, you know, we wouldn't be able to do half the stuff that we do. Well, you've done a fantastic job of Tracy's here. What did you do for the colour? The colour, um, when Tracy first came in, she was her colour was quite gold, and we discovered that we didn't really like the gold through consultation. And Tracy basically trusted me to do whatever, <laughs> which was quite cool. So we um, did two blondes to one low light, a low light being a slightly darker blonde. Uh, we chose a beigey colour for the low light, and every second on foil we took um, straight through just to lighten it up and then we chose a nice beigey toner just to soften it and smooth the colour out. It looks very natural. So what's a low light? Is that the opposite of a highlight? Just basically a darker colour? It's basically any colour you want it to be. It's just darker colour of the highlight. And how do we know what will suit us in terms of highlights and lowlights and just colour in general? All depends on your skin tone, what colours you wear, your eye colour. Sure. Um, there's the winter tones, the summer tones, spring tones, the autumn tones. And you guys are obviously skilled at knowing who's yes. who in terms of that. Oh, yeah. Great. That's not feeling too curly for you? No, that feels. <laughs> Yeah. Always what you don't. <laughs> and just to soften it up, we'll just loosely brush them out. So, do you recommend applying hairspray as you go, or after, or? Um, if you want them to last, and I would, especially if you're going to like a wedding or something, you want them quiet. And what's that product that you just put in there? That is the Kerastase Elixir for coloured hair. Okay. So, you just pop a little bit through the ends, and you can pop it through wet and dry hair. And yeah, that's our day look. Lovely. Very what do you think, nice. Tracy? Oh, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Love curls. Mm. And then, if, say Tracy's going out for dinner or something afterwards, we can easy just sort of loosely clip it to the side. Um, we used to do it a, a lot of it by back combing it and sweeping colour through. Now it's been done a lot um, more natural. Sort of looking, and that's a wow, our evening look, just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Ah. Beautiful. A few bobby pins and away. Do you want a light spray of hairspray, just to keep it in place and keep those fluffies away? Mm. And okay. Voila! Voila! And whereabouts can we find Rodney Wayne? And you can find Rodney Wayne. Um, our store here in Bethlehem is in the complex and we have a website which has got all the like, store locations on it. So if you ever need to find a store, it's all on, on the website. RodneyWayne.co.nz? Yes. Sounds good. Thank you so yeah. much, Natalie. Cool. Well, Tracy, you are looking fabulous indeed. Now we've got the makeup and the hair sorted. And stay with us as after the break we head to La Dida Clothing Boutique. If you've just joined us, we have Tracy here from Creative Todong, helping us discover how to take that day look through to the night. 
She's had her makeup done by Bella V and here by Rodney Wayne. And now we are at La Dida Boutique. Tracy, you're off to see Robin for some styling advice. And I'm about to speak to Tanya about what she's got to offer. We'll see you soon. See you soon. Hi Tanya, what a beautiful store you have here. Thank you Monique, welcome. How long have you guys been here for? We've been here for about two years now. We were out at a little village previously, but this is home. Fantastic, and what do you have to offer? We do a range of new and re-love products, um, from our dress line to our vintage collectibles and giftware. We have our own modern made design label in store as well, which is vintage inspired. So we have a creation of all things that us girls love. And styling advice? Styling advice, we all can offer you that. We all have different looks and ideas. Um, so there's myself, there's Robin and Leanne. And what about brands? What sort of brands have you got? Brands? Well, we carry our very own Molly May label, which is vintage inspired. We do a Lazy Bone label, which is from Australia. And we do a lot of relove, so we use um, predominantly New Zealand design labels, um, higher end, and we on sell those on behalf. Well, thanks so much for that, Tanya. I'm off to see how Robin and Tracy are doing. So why have you chosen this dress, Robin? The colour complements Tracy beautifully. It does complement her beautifully. It's, it gives a shine to her skin, as you can see. With her hair, it's just framing her face. Um, for the day wear, I feel as though we need to just zap it a little mm. bit. So I think what we could do is put something like the brightness around the ears and just leave the dress totally as it is. Thanks, Tracy. Those are gorgeous. Yeah, they are. Beautiful. They're a vintage pair. There we are. Now that's, that's day wear. She could also wear something even just like the pearls. Lovely. Very lovely. But I think today, with the brightness around the ears, just something on her hand of pearls, which would suit beautifully. And why this particular style of dress on Tracy? The style of the dress suits Tracy because it keeps her cinched in and gives that beautiful shape, mm. keeps that shape happening. It's got the wider piece underneath the bust line and then just falls straight down and you can see we've put a petticoat underneath which um, just gives the dress the fullness. And it looks lovely it too, does. doesn't it? This is actually a cotton, it's a Japanese cotton. It holds its colour and it holds the weight of the pleat. Gives a very tailored look, doesn't it? Indeed it does. The dress could take you from office, wedding, after night. Mm. Mm. And how would you recommend taking this through to the night? Well, I think we should all look at earrings again. Mm. Glam it up. Just a necklace and earrings. So if we, sorry Tracy, we'll Please just take find. the earrings out. And pop in a little bit of vintage again. Vintage earrings are just divine. Especially with this vintage inspired frock. There we are. Bit of extra sparkle for the night time. Absolutely, a girl needs bling. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. And as simple as a necklace. We're left with a collar look on Tracy. We can then put our hair through to the side. Mm. And there we have an evening yeah. outfit. Well, thank you so much, Robin. Tracy's look has come together beautifully. You're very welcome. Mm. And tell us, where can we come to achieve a look of our own? Come down to see us at La Dida, First Avenue, 48 First Avenue, Tauranga. Well, I don't know about you, Tracy, but I'm feeling quite famished. So we're off to Cafe Bravo to see what they've got to offer in terms of day and night. So Nancy, from day to night, tell us what is so special about Bravo. I think it's an amazing place. We've been here for 12 and a half years. Six months ago, we had a facelift, a bit of Botox. So what makes us amazing is from 8 o'clock in the morning to 5 o'clock at night, we have a full menu, you get your bacon and eggs till 5. 5 o'clock we turn into a very nice evening meal, have a steak, some salmon, so we try to meet everybody's needs. Now we're on a bit of a pamper day today, can you tell us, do you have anything suitable for that? Unfortunately they've all got calories, <laughs> but you know, if you can't see something on our menu and that you would like today, our chef will certainly cook it up for you. And tell us, do you cater for those with special dietary requirements? In our cafe, we have two shelves that have straight gluten-free food. However, people know what they need and what they want, and our chefs in the kitchen will always cook appropriately. A lot of people are still having problems with dairy food, but you tell us what you want and we can certainly help you through. 
So can you explain a bit about the cafe and what you offer? I understand that there's a bit of a takeaway option. Absolutely. Well, the story about the cafe, we used to be in the building next door, but we re relocated it here in, in May. And it has everything from a selection of salads to bagels to all the cakes that you don't want to know for your diet. So we open at 8 a.m. and that goes through to 4 o'clock. But however, you can still have the full cafe menu at the same time. And tell us about the lovely staff and the service they provide here. Well, well, I always say there is a bravo girl. There are girls who want to be on the floor, the girls who enjoy people and who take the time to learn their menu and their wine list. Generalising, they're from all parts of the world. We've got two Americans, one English. Um, yeah, it's an amazing place because there's lots of accents. Of course, Jack Hogg has an accent too. And where can your customers make contact with you? We're very easily found. We're downtown Tauranga at the bottom of Spring Street. Look for the red umbrellas. We have a website, www.cafe bravo, and certainly we are 578-4700. So look us up on our website. It's got the full menu. It tells you all about what we're doing downtown. Well, fantastic. Thank you so much, Nancy. What did you think of that, Tracy? That was fantastic. It was absolutely delicious. So make sure you treat yourself to the Bravo experience. Stay with us as after the break we take Tracy to sell on one for a manicure and a pedicure. Then it's off to Maggie J to find some shoes to match. Welcome back. If you've just joined us, Tracy has been made over by professionals and enjoyed a wonderful lunch in downtown Tauranga. I've sent her ahead of me for a little pampering here at Salon One. So let's find out what's happening. Start by taking off your nail polish. I often find that feet are probably um, the hardest working part of our body. I know. And, and we just don't give them And I attention. often think that, I think summertime you tend to see them more so you're a bit more aware. True. Mm. I'm just going to do the same on the other side. Does it feel cold? No, it's nice actually. They're interesting little sheets that you're using instead of like cotton wool. These are lint free. Oh, okay. So you don't, so you don't get any, any of the fluff. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just give your feet a spray and then give them a wrap. This is quite nice and cooling. So if I could ask you just to lift one foot. Okay. There we go. And then just coming round. There we go. So it'll freshen up your feet. Nice. Yeah. Mmm. There we go. It's quite refreshing, isn't it? It is. It's really nice. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just use a bit of a cuticle softener. And I'm going to gently work your cuticles back. Is that pressure okay? Yep, no, that's fine. Thank you. For someone who doesn't get pedicures very often, the cuticles aren't looking too bad at all. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Try and look after them. Is that pressure okay for oh, you? Oh, it's fantastic. So how often do you recommend pedicures? Every four to six weeks, weeks really. Yeah. I'm going to use um, chip and skip as a base because it just helps the, the polish to um, last a bit longer. So it's like an undercoat? Well, it's, it's, no, because what it does actually is it just dries out the nail plate a little okay. bit more, so you don't have to be too precious about how you're putting it on. Mm -hmm. So this colour is an OPI colour, and it's called A Good Mandarin is Hard to Find Darin. And just taking the polish to the top, but being careful so it doesn't bleed into the cuticle. Just want to tidy up a little bit there. Just want it to sit for a few minutes, and then we'll put the top coat on and then we'll carefully make our way over and start with your hands. There we go. Okay, so we're just gonna start by taking off nail hardener that's on the nails already. And we're gonna start prepping them for the gel color that's been chosen and it's that one there, a good mandarin. And it's gonna match your toes. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just shape your nails. So I've just shaped the nails, and now what I'm doing now is just trimming the cuticles back. Nearly finished now with the cuticles trimming. So as well as making the nail look tidier, mm -hmm. um, we don't actually want to get any of the gel onto the cuticle because that's what 
sometimes when you, when it lifts, yeah. that's what it what is. What it is, is that, it's stuck on is the that cuticle. It's on the cuticle, uh -huh. and then obviously the nail is coming up, so it just lifts that's, off. Yeah, peels, doesn't yeah. it? Let's see if that happen. Okay, so we've got to the, the part where we actually start to put on the base, and it's like a nail polish base, but it's but it's a gel. Okay. And the secret to this is that you keep it really, really fine. So what I'd like you to do is slide your hand in all the way to the back of the machine. There's like a little lip that you the edge of yep, it. Yeah, all the And then spread your fingers for me. Yep. Perfect. I'm there. And then while that's happening, I'll just do the other side. So how much time would you put aside to come in and have yourself, you know, a regular pedicure and manicure? Okay. So this this service takes about half an hour. Um, if you've already got the gels on, you probably need to leave an extra 15 minutes, so 45 minutes to get this, this service done. Um, and what we did today with a speedy pedicure, that was half an hour. So yeah, well, that's looking not at bad. just, you know, this is the final coat that goes on, it's the top coat, and that is what's gonna give this manicure its beautiful, glossy, shiny finish. We finished now, and I'm just rubbing gently over the nails to remove the, any sticky residue that might be left when we went through the curing process. The final thing we do is just pop a little bit of oil over the cuticle just to nourish, just to nourish um, the cuticle area. There we go. Wow, Tracy, that colour just pops on you. Yes, I'm absolutely thrilled with it. It's going to go with everything. Right, girl, I think mm. it's time we got you some shoes. Absolutely. <laughs> Well, here we are at Maggie J's. You go have a browse and I'm going to catch up with Pamela. Okay. Pamela, what a beautiful store you have here. How long have you been here for? Uh, I've had Maggie J's for 12 years. Been in this spot here on Grey Street for four and a half years. Pamela, you have such a beautiful collection of footwear here. Where do you source them from? Most of my ranges are out of Europe, like um, France. I've got quite a few brands out of France, Italy, Spain. And why is this? Uh, I just like their, their styling and their leathers, their, um, the finish, everything. It's... And what sort of styles are in the spring? Oh, it's across the board, really. I try to um, choose styles that I know they're going to suit people's lifestyles rather than what's fashion, fashion. A lot of wedges uh, around. They've been, been for the last two or three seasons and they'll uh, continue on, I'd say, for a wee while yet. Now tell us about colours. What are the latest trends here? Well, a lot of people like um, you know, this year, there are a lot of brights out, which is really good. Some pales, but um, red is always popular. Turquoise colours, nude is another shade, although I don't have many nude colours. I, Further. And with a big day like Tracy's had today, is, do you offer a more comfortable style that's less hard on your body? Yes, I think that the main thing is for people to choose uh, what's comfortable for them and the height, whether it's in fashion or not. I think really, at the end of the day, you've got to be comfortable. And it's not just shoes at Maggie J's, is it? No, we have bags, handbags, lots of lovely handbags. Gabby handbags, we've just got a new brand in now is called the Kelly Brown and they're all leather. All, everything in this store is leather. I don't have vinyl or, or unless I um, say that it, it is. And whereabouts can your customers find you? Um, 35 Grey Street which is um, just around the corner from the car parking building. And you are online? We also have a, a great website, it's uh, www.maggiejshoes.co.nz Fantastic, well thank you so much for that Pamela. This week on Destination Central we are so excited to offer you a deluxe pack from Bella V with $250. All you need to do to enter is head to our website or call us. And for more information on Bella V, head to their website www.bellavie.co.nz well, we've had an absolutely wonderful day today and Tracy looks stunning. Tell me, what's your favourite part been? Oh, the whole day, Monique. It's been a real treat. I'm normally so busy, so to take a day out and be pampered and cared for and so much attention, it's been lovely. Well, there you go. It is so easy to take the day look through to the night. Thanks for watching Destination Central. Make sure you visit the businesses that we show here today and when you do, make sure you say that you saw them on Destination Central. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.
This has been an Alpha Media production, a division of Television Media Group.